There are five types of affinities. This chart shows all the base affinities and what affinity counterattacks the other. The green arrows have a plus two effect to the other affinity and the red arrows have a minus two effect to the other affinity. This information is pretty much key to understanding how everything works and it sort of makes sense. I like to think of it like this. Fire burns nature. Yeah, we all know that. Uh, nature can stop the wind, i.e. the trees grow up and they can stop the wind. The wind can beat the water. This one's a little bit trickier. Um, but yeah, the way I see it is it can push water around on the ocean, you know, when it gets really choppy. And water beats earth, i.e. just turns it to mud. And earth beats fire, because yeah, if you put earth like dirt on top of the fire, it just extinguishes it. Yeah, and the wheel goes round. So that's how I like to think of them. And even though we're only talking about the base affinities, composites of the affinities, when they go up a, a stage, they still have the same base effect. So yeah, uh, a fire might be called magma, for example, but an earth or a granite, for example, still which is an earth product, still beats fire. Okay, so I hope that helps. So the example on the right side of the screen, I've just used the dockers because they're all free to play. The arrows that you see in the center of this affinity chart that just go in between, basically the way I see them is they all pretty much just level each other out. Uh, yellow technically is plus one and orange is minus one. But yeah, I don't like to think about it too much because when we're playing the survival mode it's too much for me to um, absorb in terms of information I tend to just go for the worst case scenario because I'm often trying to counter attack so ie if they've got Ramphy coming in I'm going to be looking for an earth affinity to either protect as a tank because they do really well earth tanks against fire for example yeah so that's 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 how I use this to my advantage note this is not the case when fighting commences. I'll explain further later. First, we need to discuss synergies and why this is a big deal. When you have three alluvials on the battle board with the same affinity, it activates a bonus for each alluvial and the affinity. And there is also additional bonuses if you place six and nine alluvials on the battle board. I think it's going to be even greater knowledge once we're playing an arena because you're going to be building your own deck and take the nature alluvials like I just love their affinity basically it's just more health and they're stronger but yeah you, we, we can go we can talk all day about which is better than the other they're all ultimately going to counteract another type so at the end of the day everything has a counter to it it's just essential that you need to get all this base knowledge in you. Um, what I mean by that is you just need to remember it. And it's not going to happen overnight. But let's go through it one by one and hopefully some of it adds up so you can understand. Because yeah, it's just fantastic knowledge. Bonus tip. If you have an alluvial on the board, you can bond your ranger with the alluvial. look at that there we go so we are now bonded so if we right click on the ranger it says that we're berserker the berserker is one of my favorite for the ranger synergy details every third attack berserker units deal increased physical attack damage and heal for 50 percent of the damage dealt when berserker units drop below a health threshold they gain 50 percent attack speed if you have two on the board you get 50 percent health threshold yeah, it's awesome. So just by placing that one alluvial on the board and by bonding the ranger, we now have Berserker, which is the ranger. Nature. The first time nature units drop below 50% health, they heal over three seconds. If you have three on the board, 30% max health recovery. Six, 50% max health recovery. Nine, 70% max health recovery. Air units gain additional dodge chance. Three on the board, 20% dodge chance. Six on the board, 35% dodge chance. Nine is 50 dodge chance. Fire units' Amiga ability empowers their next attack 
to deal additional damage in a large area. 3. 150% max energy as energy damage. 6. 250% max energy as energy damage. 9. 325% max energy as energy damage. Water units gain energy regeneration. 3 is 3 energy regen, 6, 5 energy regen, and 9 alluvials is 7 energy regen. Earth units gain grit and resolve. 3 units on the board, 25% grit and resolve, 6, 40%, and 9 units on the board, 55 grit and resolve. Okay, remember that bit at the start of the video where I said affinity versus another affinity doesn't matter right at the start? Well, it doesn't. So in those first few seconds when they're fighting, they're equaled out. If they've both got equal attack damage of say 100, they're gonna inflict the same amount of damage on each other. Now, how the affinities work um, is it builds up the hypermeter. Now the hypermeter is a yellow bar just to the left side of the alluvial's health bar. Yeah, so when they go hyper, a state of increased power an alluvial can have when the hyper bar reaches 100%. Combat units gain hyper when their affinity counters an affinity that their opponent has. The greater number of units the counter in a 50 hex radius, the faster they gain hyper. When a unit reaches 100% hyper, they become hyperactive gaining powerful bonuses depending on their class, composite class, gain half the bonuses of their primary class. Example, Archie gains half the fighter bonus and half the Fizen bonus. There's an Amiga ability as well, and that's built up with the bar, which is the blue scion, which is underneath the health bar. Once that reaches 100%, it unleashes their Amiga ability. This can be extra fighter damage or health or healing when there are support and so forth. Synergies combined with the classes, combined with the affinity, they all add up to basically superpowers. The Amiga that is activated from the hypermeter once it reaches 100% is very powerful for certain classes of alluvials. Now I'll save that for another video because understanding your classes is just, it's a whole, whole new topic and it needs a dedicated video specifically for it so you can digest that information. But it is built from the affinities. So yeah, that's the key matchup. The hypermeter can help you greatly, especially when you're towards the end of a battle. It can just be enough to get your alluvials over the line to win you the battle.